and today I'm going to be talking about fitness and goals, my goals, my short-term goals, my long-term goals, and I want to hear about your goals as well. Stay tuned. So thank you guys so much for watching, and sorry I looked a little rough, but <laughs> I have reasoning behind it. I just worked out, yay! <laughs> So it's about 9 o'clock in the morning, and today is day four of our challenge, day four of 411 Mama's Challenge. Um, so I just want to kind of share with you guys what I've been doing, and um, like I said, some of my goals, my struggles. So let's jump right in. Um, first things first, I do have a goal set in mind. Um, definitely a short-term short goal would be getting <laughs> getting my butt to do exercises every day and sticking to a healthy diet um, and avoiding soda as much as possible, um, stuff like that. So basically my short term goal would be staying committed, staying motivated, staying on top of things and actually working out like I should be. And I really want to take the weight off one pound at a time. By that I mean I'm not going to go to the scale and be disappointed that I've only lost two pounds when Really, I'm thinking in my mind, I want 10 or 20 pounds off. So I'm trying to take it slow. Um, so short-term goals, like I'm saying, I definitely have in mind, okay, I want to lose five pounds by this point instead of keeping a large number in my mind, like 20 pounds by that point, if that makes sense. For me, it, it keeps me more, I can concentrate more on that smaller goal than the larger goal, the larger spectrum. Of course, the large goal is always in, my mind, in the back of my mind, and I always know that that's what I'm trying to get to, but first I have to get to my short-term goals to reach my long-term goal. So as far as long-term goals go, I do have a few um, that I have my mind set on. Definitely want to incorporate fitness in my daily routine instead of it being like, oh my gosh, I have to work out, blah, blah, blah. I definitely want to incorporate it um, daily. Let it if it be if it's ten minutes, if it's an hour, if it's two hours, if it's a run, whatever it is. Um, I want to start incorporating that daily. That would be my long term goal. And then um, I also want to change up my recipes a little bit and start cooking a little healthier. And so definitely, I guess that starts right from meal planning. I have to substitute some things that I cook. Um, <clears throat> when I go to the grocery store, I'm not going to be buying any of that junk because if I buy it, we'll eat it. So I guess you can't be buying any more of that stuff anymore. Um, as far as my kids go, I really want to be an example for them. Uh, I want to explain to them and show them like, to be confident and to be positive and to have self-confidence and feel good about their body, um, have good body image of themselves. And having two girls, I know that's hard because I remember in high school and middle school, I did, always thought I was so fat. I thought I was so fat. And I weighed <laughs> like 115 pounds, 120 pounds. And I'm 5'4", mind you, so that's pretty skinny. But um, I always thought I was so fat. And I just never really have been comfortable with myself or my body. So I definitely want to teach my girls um, if you want to have a healthy body and if you want to um, look a certain way, you have to take care of yourself and you have to eat healthy. You don't do it dangerously. You don't take nasty diet pills or anything like that. You want to eat healthy and work out the right way and make it a lifestyle instead of, um, you know, oh my gosh, I gained 20 pounds, let me take them off really unhealthy um, in the unhealthy way. So I definitely want to instill that in my kids. That's my long term goal is to make a change for my family. Um, and that's something that we'll stick with and live by. So I guess lifestyle change is my main goal. <laughs> um, I do have the P90X. I have um, had it for quite a while actually. <laughs> And I've started it and stopped it a few times. Seriously, I like start it and then I'm like, heck no, that is too hard. And then I stop it. So what I plan on doing is I know this works and I know this will help me if I use it like I should and properly. Um, so what I'm going to do first is 
This is my fourth day of the Julie and Michael's Thirty Day Shred. I am gonna do the Thirty Day Shred first, and then I feel like I'll be a little more <laughs> capable of doing the T ninety X. It's just, I mean, it's a great workout. I've done it. I've done it a few times, and I know it works because it hurts, <laughs> and it's hard, and it's like I'm dying by the time it's over. So I know it works. Um, and I guess the whole point of exercise is working out. So. Um, I just don't feel like I can successfully stay committed to T90X, um, but I know with the Jillian Michaels, um, like I said, I've been doing it, and it's fairly easy. It's not, I mean, it's not easy, actually. It's not easy. It's, I'm able to keep up with it, so let's just keep it at that. Okay, I've talked a little bit about the workout videos that um, I'm doing and plan on doing. I also have an elliptical that I've been using, which rocks. I really like the elliptical. It's like, ugh, like you're dying halfway through it, but um, I really like it. I like the way it makes me feel when I work out. It's like, I don't know, I like the way it feels. I think I would like to try them out also, but I think the elliptical is probably more efficient for me, if that makes sense. Um, as far as anything else goes, I have been looking into classes. Um, they have like these boot camp classes um, in the morning. They're like at 5.30 in the morning. Um, you check in your local area. Like I checked in the town where I live in, kind of like the city where I live in, um, on their website, and they have all kinds of classes. And they're fairly cheap to sign up, especially if you're a resident um, of that area. And they're like six week programs, and they're like three times a week. Um, so I'm going to look into something like that. As far as trying really hard to incorporate is water. <laughs> water, water. I have, I like struggle with drinking water, seriously. I think I've mentioned that before, probably in my own, you know, in my main page I've talked about that. But um, I've been trying to drink lots of water, so it's going pretty good. <laughs> um, another thing that I have that I ordered after I had my last daughter, she's like, she's nine months old now. Um, I subscribed to the state magazine kind of motivate myself a little bit. And honestly, this is the first month I've actually opened it. I know that's terrible, right? <laughs> that's really bad because after you have a baby, for me anyways, I'm like, I do not want to look at that magazine and I do not want to see all those skinny girls. <laughs> like, that's what my mindset was. I'm not going to look at it. Um, now that we're starting our fitness challenge and now that we're ready to make, the, I'm ready to make the change, I've decided to open it up and see what they have. They have a lot of good stuff in here. They have like a lot of fun recipes. Um, they have some Mexican, this issue, they have some Mexican recipes, um, like low calorie Mexican recipes. They have different workouts that they show you like different stretches, different exercises, so fun stuff like that. So I'm getting into my magazines. I saved all of them that I've been, that I ordered the last nine months. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading them, I guess use my money wisely instead of just having them sit there. I know I've been rambling and rambling. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys what I've been doing. Um, I think that I will continue with some vlogs on my main channel about my workouts. I kind of shied away from my main channel for a while for personal reasons, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get back to that. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to me talk and talk and talk. And I hope you guys are staying motivated. Keep us motivated. Um, on our Facebook, I know Nicole has been posting pictures every day of her food. Um, I need to start doing that. Keeps me more accountable and motivated. So, anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the challenge and you're right there with us and trying different things. Let us know what you're trying. Um, since I've shared with you what my short term goals are and my long term goals are, I kind of want to hear what your guys' goals are. And if you have goals for 30 days from now, a year from now, what are your goals? I just want to hear them. And I also want to say thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed recently and also has liked our Facebook page. And we love you guys so much and we love all the support and the encouragement from each other. You guys are also positive and leave such nice comments to us. So we love the sense of community that we have here with you guys on YouTube. So if you haven't liked us on Facebook, please do so and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. Play see you again. Bye.